Now, you have to decide exactly who and what it is that you're going to be. Where are you gonna be at as well? Location. Now, whether you use a corporate partnership number, your social security number, or an EIN, is up to you. It's all the same process. The, lot of, the reason people use corporate partnership numbers over their SSN is for privacy. Some people have issues on their SSN, bad credit, evictions, criminal records, all these things. But that's neither here nor there. And this is for informational purposes only. So we're gonna start from one and we're gonna go for, for it. Everything, everything is gonna be in order, right? So this is what I want you guys to understand. If you use, no matter what you use, if you have a blank slate, you're going to have to add trade lines or you're going to have to build credit. Now, anything over six months or better on an, on an account. So a trade line is an account. You understand? I got to teach you steps from beginning. So trade lines are accounts. Those are accounts with any institution that you owe money to and you're making a payment and, and they're reporting it to the one of three credit bureaus. TransUnion, Equifax, Experian, one of the three. You're gonna have to have a, an account that's on there that's showing that you've been having it, making a payment for at least six months or that account is six months old or better. Then you get a real FICA score. Credit Karma is not gonna give you a real FICA score. If you have an account that's, say for instance, if you have one account on your credit and it's two months old, Credit Karma is gonna give you a Vantage 3 score, which is not a real credit score. If you have an Experian account, it's going to say blank. If you have a TransUnion or Equifax account, it's going to say blank. No score until you reach six months, period. So no matter what, one of the three vehicles that you're going to be using, which is corporate partnership number, SSN or EIN, doesn't matter, or I-10, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what vehicle you use. Now you understand some vehicles are gonna get you further than others. Some vehicles are, are built for off-road. Some vehicles are built for speed, power, horsepower, luxury, economy, we, we, you know? And, and we gotta start looking at vehicles just like that. Our credit is a vehicle, you understand? Our credit is a vehicle. You know, Sam, I'm at the Porsche dealership. Our credit is a vehicle. This is something that we got to get an understanding of. So I'm going to talk slow. We're going to take our time. No matter what you use, I'm going to put the details on, on, on my Patreon account. I'm just giving you a light, a light exercise of knowledge of, you know, period. Now, you're going to have to build credit on it. Credit is building public records. You understand? The reason that you have to build public records before, you, you know, you got that big, hey, you know, you got to build public records is because when you're starting with a regular, regular CP, that's for future use, that has no history, it's not even a, a person at this point, you, you have to start from scratch. But when you have certain things, you don't have to start from scratch. Like a corporate partnership number, you don't really have to start from scratch. A PCN, a EIN, a SSN, you don't have to start from scratch. That's why those things can be a college student with no credit and still get a credit card. Because you don't have to start from scratch. Only the old school under the table, get your ass in trouble profiles that y'all been spending money on. is going to have to start from scratch. So you gotta push yourself to the forward of having to start from scratch. You're gonna have to invest into the right things. So you have to build some credit. Secondly, I can get into detail, but I, I gotta just, you know, skim over a little bit. Secondly, 
You're gonna have to have some sort of income. You're gonna, you're gonna have to portray the ability to pay back a loan if these institutions are gonna loan you money, whether it's for personal, whether it's for a credit card, a vehicle, a house, a car, doesn't matter. You're gonna have to have the ability to pay this stuff back. So you're gonna have to have an income. Now, incomes are, are, are mostly taxable. That's why certain things don't work with certain things because now you're getting into taxation. Now, if you're wealthy, if you have assets, you don't really have to have income. An example, when you see people have money in their bank account, you know, they drop 50,000 and let it sit. Well, banks say, well, you know, <laughs> clearly you got assets, so I can loan you some money, right? Clearly you have assets and I can loan you some money. Or like the rest of us, you're gonna have to make some money monthly. You understand? You're gonna have to make some money monthly. Weekly, doesn't matter. You're gonna have to have some source of finances, income coming in to pay this stuff back. Very important. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a citizen, a foreigner, it doesn't really matter. Long as you have residency. And now, now I'm talking about Patreon stuff because you know, I can't talk about this stuff here. They don't want everybody to know this type of stuff. This ain't for everybody. I'm not gonna teach everybody. Only certain people who know the cornerstones of life and who are dedicated to being the best you can be as an individual man or woman or person. These are the things that I'm gonna be helping, helping these type of people get into, right? These are the things that I'm gonna be helping people get into. So, of course, you gotta have some income, right? And next is gonna be, third is gonna be what? Identification. Now, you can have your home, your home state or your home country, a passport, uh, international ID, so many options, you know. Your name is also considered identification. Your taxable numbers are also considered identification. We talk about in detail how to get multiple identifications legally. You don't got to commit a crime and make a fake one and, you know, identity theft and getting in trouble and all these things, you know. You don't have to do that, family. There's legal ways to do everything. That's why you're working with at least 600K. <laughs> this is Master Bob with at least 600K. We've upgraded you know, so ID is very important, easy. You know, you don't gotta fake it till you make it. You can just create one the correct way. I have all the answers for that, you know, in my mentorships, in my program, in my courses, in my step-by-step -step programs to get you to the money. It ain't gonna be cheap. Now understand, I'm not 24 seven. I know I give the impression, people think I'm 24 seven. I take two, sometimes three days off a week. I got a lot of work to get done. I got things that are from doing. Just because I'm not on the phone with you don't mean I'm not working. You know, I gotta tell the niggas this, you know, cause niggas don't get it. I waited on you for six months to come up with, with it. You can't wait a few extra days? Oh, cause you think I'm 24 seven. Come on now. You disrespecting me. Don't disrespect me. You understand? You diss me, you diss yourself. I'm leading you to the promised land. If you're strong enough. Now, let's keep going. So, once you establish those things, the longer you have residency, the more trustworthy you're going to be. The more accounts that you show that you're making payments to on time, the more trustworthy you're going to be. It's not necessarily meaning the amount you owe. I've seen where, you know, you owe 1500 and they'll still give you 20000 I've seen you responsibly paid off 1600 and they'll give you 30000 You understand? Where you reside is very important. You understand? Where you reside is very important, family. Now, when you start having all those things established, you understand? You, 
you're more than likely want to start creating an ecosystem, right? An ecosystem. Your foundation, your residency, your documentations, your paperworks, you know what I mean? 299,000, it ain't for me, not yet anyway. You know, paperwork, um, residency, identifications, um, and a few and a few other things, of course, incomes, accounts. Now, when you have personal accounts versus business accounts, this is how you, you know, have your triangle of ecosystem. Now, your triangle eventually is to need to turn into an octagon. But the foundation of success starts with a triangle. The financial triangle is which is what I'm teaching. You understand? You know how they used to teach the the um, the uh, triangle defense? Well, the financial triangle is what we're teaching here at least six figures. For at least six figures by Master Bob. At least six figures holds all the responsibility, all the liability holds on at least six figures. I just work here. I'm just the messenger. You know what I mean? Period. I hold no responsibility. No liability here. For informational purposes. So when you get this stuff understood, we'll start getting to the details. Because I'm going to have a course where everybody is in. But after...